Hello and welcome. Today we will be discussing Ascent Shaft and Endless Shaft, which is two games in one, and the game is so cheap I'm willing to take a punt that this game is the cheapest PlayStation game in 2021, at least so far. The game will be available from 3rd of March 2021 for 49 cents. The game is made up of two different games. One is called Ascent Shaft, which is like an old school arcade game. It's not the most difficult of games, but it does provide a fairly balanced challenge. Trophy wise, the game is fairly easy. You'll need to complete all levels to 100%, which is achieved by killing all of the enemies. There are also two more trophies for killing the bosses. Overall, the game is pretty decent, and I managed to get all of the trophies relating to a send shaft in less than an hour. Moving on to Endless Shaft, which is essentially a free-falling game and you have to avoid the rocks or enemies like bats, rocks or missiles. However, I do feel quite a bit of nostalgia with this game. It is like the old Flash games on PC that you ended up playing in IT classes in middle school when you were bored about learning Microsoft Publisher, which for me is not a bad thing at all. In contrast to Ascend Shaft, the game is quite tricky. The trophies are a lot harder than it seems, and I couldn't get any of them personally. And the trophies are specific enough to say what speed you have to go to unlock them, which makes it even harder. It's safe to say that this isn't an easy peasy platinum, but someone with enough determination and good hand-eye coordination could probably earn the platinum for this game. However, I have no real complaints about the game. For the price you pay, you get quite a decent game, and obviously there's pretty decent replayability, and to be honest, Endless Shaft is kind of addictive. What do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.